I don't have a home. I don't have a car. I didn't eat yesterday. I had to borrow these clothes. She took it all! <laughs> I was married for two years! I don't think she'll but a primal scream! Ah! Ah! <laughs> but I try not to have an attitude about it. <laughs> I want to get along with women, you know? But um, I'm going around, I'm trying to talk people out of getting married if I can. Uh, it's, it's, I did it, it doesn't work. Didn't work for me. You ever been married? What's your name? Gary. Well, Gary, if you ever think about getting married, if you ever think you've met the right girl, you want to settle down, get a house, get a car, will you do me a favor, Gary? Remember this face. Because if we get married, Gary, that'll be your face every day. It's the face of every married man when he wakes up in the morning, he gets out of bed, he looks in the mirror, he realizes what he's done, and he goes, oh, oh, oh! It's true. It's true. I was married for two years. My life was so boring, I actually worried about my yard. <laughs> the rest of my friends had goals, careers, adventures. They were out doing things with their lives. I was out there looking for crabgrass, weeds and stuff, going, I've got a responsibility to the neighborhood here to keep a good yard. <laughs> yeah, this was my life. I didn't have any kids, though. That's good. Uh, that's real hell. You seen those guys with the strollers? The little babies, have you seen those guys walking the streets with a look on their face like they envy the dead? It's like... The best thing about marriage is that these are connected. You know what I mean? Men can keep their Johnsons. That's about it. Oh, you don't know that word Johnsons here, huh? You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Winky, as it were. You know what I'm saying, guys? They're connected. They don't come off. Because if they did, the women would take them. They would. They'd go, well, you're married now. You won't be needing that. <laughs> They would. They go, what, you going out of town with your friends? Well, you can just leave that here. I'll be waiting for you when you get back. It's true, you'd see all these guys on the phone. They'd be going, yeah, hello, guys. Yeah, listen, I'm not gonna be able to go. No, I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna have to stay here. She's got my job! No, she won't give it to me. I asked for it all day. <laughs> yeah, she's upset. I tried to sneak out of the house with it this morning, and, uh... Yeah, I was uh, halfway out the driveway. She came around of the house, and I had to give it to her right there in the street. <laughs> okay, I'll ask her. Hold on. Uh, honey, it's the guys. Well, no, they just called to say that they're all taking theirs. <laughs> I'm just gonna take mine, because I didn't want to stand out or anything. Uh, okay. Yeah, she said no way. <laughs> no, she said the winky stays here, yeah. <laughs> you guys do me a favor if you see me working on the yard next week and around the house, and uh, we do me a favor? Kill me. <laughs> Kill me, I'm in hell. Will you shoot me, poison my food, run me over with the car, whatever it takes? I'm in hell! Oh, oh, oh! Remember that face, Gary? Ah. Uh. But I love women. What are you going to do? You lo I love women. I've been in love about eight times now. And uh, I buy it every time. Every single time I buy it. Love comes into my life and goes, come on. Come on. <laughs> yes, no, this is love. Not like the others. This is real love. I wouldn't lie to you nine times in a row, you ass. Open the door. <laughs> so you're all great. <laughs> But you gotta keep trying to make it work, you know? Because I, I love women, I love women. Now there's this big rage, I don't know if it's here in England, it is in the States, uh, this sexual counseling thing, have you heard about this? People are going to psychologists for sexual counseling, you don't need sexual counseling. You just need to talk, communicate, talk to each other, open up. Women, 
If you like something a certain way, tell us about it. Fill us in. Give us a clue! <laughs> what are we, mind readers? We on an Easter egg hunt? Let us know what it is! We will do it! <laughs> Don't tell your mom. Don't tell your girlfriends, your hairdresser, your little buddies. He doesn't kiss me right. He doesn't hold me long enough. <laughs> tell us! <laughs> we will do it! <laughs> will we do it, guys? Will we do it? <laughs> Oh, it's not like some strong lovers in this group. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll do it. Yeah. <laughs> will we do it? <laughs> but I want to leave you with one thought, because I used to think honesty, I really did. I used to think honesty was the thing that made a relationship work, that made it, like, come together, made it stronger. <laughs> I like to publicly laugh at that theory now. <laughs> Forever, honey. Forever. Thank you very much. Good night.